All right, today's the day. We're gonna take our first mold off of the Arete. And we're gonna start with this real simple one. This is the wing or trunk lid. And typically what I do is I pull up a piece of sheet metal like this and trim it to fit the contour of the vehicle or whatever we're taking a mold off of. And I started working on that and noticed that I'm gonna end up scratching my surface way too much because I've got a lot of long runs. And then I realized also that I have over 200 feet of parting lines on this car and it's just not gonna work. I need to speed up the process a little bit more. Also as part of this, this uh, flashing or dam to make the parting lines, I would have to take a piece of clay and put this to hold this flashing in place. So, came to the conclusion that I'm gonna have to do it all with clay, but that's a lot of snakes to roll. Um, we learned that as a kid to make snakes, and this is what it's for. You build a snake, flatten it into a nice uh, surface to create a parting line, stick that on the parting line, and go. But like I said, 200 linear feet of parting lines, that's a lot of snakes to roll. I'm not willing to do that. So, we're gonna build us an extrusion machine extrude this clay out, create the walls, they'll be nice and straight, and stick right to the surface, ready to go. So let's go build a machine. So quick overview of uh, the materials used for this thing. Found a big uh, section of channel iron to uh, base plate, built a bracket to hold this piston. This is a four inch by 12 inch pneumatic cylinder that's gonna produce about 1500 pounds of pressure if I ever run it to the 110 PSI that it's rated for. Doubt I'll ever have to go that high. Of course, if you warm the clay up, it won't take much pressure at all. Then I have a cylinder for the extrusion itself, part of an old cylinder out of a pneumatic ram. Just the right size, four inches to match the cylinder. And then some brackets that that will hold that in place. I also have a round piece of stock that was just the right size to fit in here, but a little bit of grease inside, a little grit, causing it to hang up. Found it wasn't going to work anyway, so take the basic components, stack those in place. And then we'll move on with the construction of this thing. Now here you see I moved to a smaller piston made out of just a piece of sheet metal, turned on the lathe to fit inside the cylinder. Attaches to the pneumatic cylinder with a nut that screws on, just welded that to the piston. Line it up with our tube there. Welding some studs onto the side of it so that I can actually remove this thing and clean it when I need to. Tackle with everything in place, make sure everything's lining up just right. And now we've jumped in to have it finished and painted. I don't need to talk too much of this. This next little bit is just the assembling of this thing. Put on a couple more brackets in the front to hold it in alignment when so that our piston slides into the cylinder just right. As I mentioned, I made this so it would go off and on to the extruder. That way I can take it out and clean it. If the clay gets built up, that might start slowing that ram down. Piece of steel plate with a hole cut in it makes for a retainer for the die. Two way pneumatic cylinder control valve. Allows me to run air to the front of the cylinder or the back of the cylinder with just the turn of the knob. Joy of working with pneumatics. Got all these nice fittings. Screw them in. 
just plug in your air lines. Air line to the front. And the cylinder is ready to be powered. Add a regulator. Set it at about 30 PSI. Ready for a test. And happy day, it works. All left, print up a die on the 3D printer. And we're ready for a test. Warm up some clay in the oven, get a little softer. I printed up a second die with uh, three little rectangular pieces for some other dams I need to build for the headlight. We're going to try that first. Put the die in place. And here I just put putting pressure on it. This doesn't seem like anything's working. Well, it's so slow that I thought I'll add a little pressure. Do you want me to zoom in? Now the camera gets it kind of excited. Do you want me to zoom in? I'm oblivious to what's going well, on. It's going like crazy. Until I see. Put a pull on those things, try to get them straight coming out of there. That's good. All I need is about six feet. Got that. Try to turn it off, but it's already pushed out all the clay. But it worked. Oh, with that? Yep. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. With this and the camera, and then you're going to make an L or a 7. A 7 or an L, that's right. Yeah. You're going to put that in here? Yep. Yes. And then you're going to put this real bar, like that bar, and then in your shit. And it fits, yeah. And then you're going to put in that camera oven. Yeah, we got it out of the oven. Should we see if it fits now? I think it fits. <laughs> And then it will look a little There we go. And then we can put it Okay, yeah, we gotta put this on next. Like that. Then this. Go on that. And then go. Okay, that. step back. I need to reach over here. Okay. And then you get to do that. She's gonna cut the pieces off. And grandpa will pull it off. Or should we let grandpa pull and grandpa will cut? Grandma! Grandma! Do you be a cut? Grandma? Is the camera going? It is. Okay. Okay. Okay, this part is gonna watch, so the pass stays out of it. So can you stand right there and can you reach them? Yeah. Okay, just pull them to the end of the table and then we'll have to flip them that way if we. Okay, here we go. Really 
really nice. Huh? Yes. And now fold. And you fold it out. Faster now. Don't cut it yet. Don't cut it yet. Don't cut it yet. Ready now. That's a sharp knife, huh? Okay, no, don't push it down. And then another one, another one. What? And it come in another one? Yeah. I will hold it. Okay, just don't cut it yet. Okay. Are you ready? Uh oh, it stopped. Yeah. Yeah, Clay, we got a problem. Okay, so it extruded pretty good. A little bit bigger than I probably need. It's about two and three quarters. I could really get by with just two inches. Once it's uh, cooled off, it'll be uh, pretty strong, so I don't think I need quite as thick, and it's gonna eat up too much clay. So I'm gonna redo the die and make it a little bit smaller. I think this uh, part right here, I've thickened it up here so that it wouldn't curl coming out of the die. I think that needs to move right to the end because it did try to pull back there as well. So I'm just gonna redo the die and we'll go again. All right, we are back by the magic of video editing. And here is our extrusion, just a little short section of it. And this will, of course, go right here on that parting line, create that surface for flashing to go on for the final mold. And there it is. We're ready to start setting up for our first mold. Anyway, make sure you subscribe, ring the bell to make sure you get notifications for that video or any others that we have coming up for this project or the other things we do here at Building Creator Studios. Anyway, thanks for stopping by and come again.